I didn't expect we would arrive this late. This place looks deserted. There's an inn I know nearby. Let's stay there for the night and we'll visit the castle tomorrow. Why, it's Reyna! You've been quite a stranger lately. Sorry I haven't been around, Aunt Rachel. How are things going? Oh, as well as always, I'd say. Oh, found a new man, did you? Worrying Westa to no end, no doubt. He's not my boyfriend! Well, you didn't have to shout it like that. Oh, n nothing Well, you're in luck. I've got a lovely vacant room just for the two of you. How about I let you stay there for the night? On the house. Are you sure that's okay? Oh, nothing but the best for my niece on her special night. I told you already, it's not like that at all. I swear! Not at all, huh? Come to think of it, Mr. Flack paid a visit to town a couple of weeks earlier. Diaz was here? But he left soon afterwards. Not that he had any particular destination in mind. I see. Well, make yourselves comfy. Thank you so much, Aunt Rachel. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Take care of Reyna for me, all right? Uh, yes, of course. By the way, I couldn't help but wonder, who's Mr. Flack? You mean Diaz? She mentioned the name earlier, so I was just curious. His full name's Diaz Flack. He used to live in Arlia like me. Something terrible happened to him, though, a long time ago, and because of that, he left the village. Well, I'll try to avoid the subject, then. Thanks. Do you mind if I make one request, though? What is it? You really don't have to call me Mr. Kinney. It just makes me feel weird when I call you Reyna. Okay, I'll remember that from now on. Well, let's get ready for bed then. It's getting late. <laughs> Looks like it. Good night, Claude. Good night, Reyna. Diaz. Well, how did things go? We had a great night's sleep, Aunt Rachel. Thanks for asking. Oh, you know that's not what I meant. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. That man, he had three eyes.
This is the front desk for the audience chamber. This is the place. I'll write our names in for you. Ah, I see you're here on behalf of Mayor Regis of Arlia. Yes, sir. I'd like to have an audience as soon as possible, if I may. Very well. If you could kindly wait until I make the arrangements. Thank you very much. You are welcome to look around the castle until the time comes. That would be great. Thank you. We're in, Claude. Thank you, Your Majesty. Just remember to be careful. Pardon me. It is an honor, Your Majesty. Ah, it's you, Reyna. It has been a long time, hasn't it? I can hardly recognize you. You've grown to be even more beautiful than what I've heard from Regis. I'm glad to see you in good spirits, sire. Oh, there's no need for formalities, Reyna. What can I do for you today? Yes, sire. We have begun to conduct an investigation into the Sorcery Globe. As part of that, we were wondering if Your Majesty could give us whatever information on the globe and its properties that you currently possess. Heavens, you're the one conducting this investigation? Yes, sire, and we are treating the job with as much resolve and determination as it deserves. Well, if that be the case, then it wouldn't do to hold anything back from you. I don't need to remind you of all the earthquakes and volcanic eruptions that have occurred worldwide lately. However, the exact cause of this activity remains a total mystery even to us. Have you given any thought to the idea that the Sorcery Globe is behind all this? Well, without some kind of evidence to back up that theory, it is difficult to be 100% sure about anything. I hear that people and monsters are fighting a pitched struggle in El Kingdom territory at present. Unfortunately, few details have been given on the scope of the battle or the number of casualties incurred as a result. Are there any ships right now that can take us to El? There are, but they have been strictly regulated. Wild rumors have a way of spreading quickly during wartime, needless. I am afraid we know very little about the machinations of the Sorcery Globe ourselves. Or rather, it would be more accurate to say we know nothing at all. Haven't you sent a team to investigate it? I have, but unfortunately, any hope for their return seems to have perished at this point. To sum up the current situation, despite all our best efforts, we have failed to obtain even a trace of information about the Sorcery Globe. I see. 
That's why we've decided to enlist the help of any willing adventurers in the area. That explains all of the adventurers we saw in town. I hardly need to remind you, Reyna, that your investigation into the Sorcery Globe is an extremely dangerous endeavor. If it were up to me, I would sincerely suggest that you call off this investigation immediately. Don't worry, I'll be all right. I have Mr. Kenny on my side here. Oh, so you have that much faith in his strength. In any case, it looks like you could do with some better equipment. Hmm. Here, His Majesty has granted you a travel permit, along with a small parting gift. But Your Majesty... Please, take it. It's a perfectly fitting payment for helping us root out the cause of this cataclysm. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. If you're traveling to the El Kingdom, the interim transport ship departing from Kurik would be best. Thank you for your generous support, Your Majesty. <laughs> I hardly even opened my mouth. It's not just you. Even I felt like I had butterflies in my stomach. What is the meaning of this? I believe I procured this fair and square. What the hell are you talking about, lady? You practically stole it from me! Stole? <laughs> exactly when did I partake in something anywhere even close to stealing? Enough of your crap! Hand it over or you're dead! What's with that guy? Reyna? Can I help you? Who the hell's this little brat? Is that how you should treat a lady? I don't think so. What was that? You really need to learn to be more gentle when talking to others. What? Don't you lecture me about my damn matters, kid! How pathetic. The only time you can act tough is when you're against someone weaker than yourself. What? I'll kill you, you little... If you want to pick a fight, you'd best choose your opponents more carefully. Not that I'm particularly enthralled with getting in a fight over something I didn't do. You're gonna pay for this! Hopefully that taught him something. I was quite surprised, really, to see someone like you step in. Well, it was pretty obvious that he was in the wrong. But I was much more impressed by what you did. You must be really strong. Oh, hardly. Hardly. Pfft. Oh, no need to thank me. By the way, are you the couple who had an audience with the king earlier? How did you know that? I just happened to be on a tour of the castle at the time, and I overheard some guards gossiping about two people who got special permission to jump ahead in the king's schedule. But how did you know that was us? I wondered what made that pair so special. So I sneaked into the throne room to find out for myself. That's, uh, 
pretty impressive. I have some information that I believe you will appreciate. Without going into too many details, I just happened to get my hands on this map from an auction that I attended not long ago. Supposedly, this map shows the way to an ancient treasure hidden inside a certain cave. Would you be interested in joining me as I explore the cave? I don't think we have the time for a treasure hunting expedition right now. Oh? Are you sure? You... well? Would you like to come along? Sounds like fun. Let's take the offer. Ah, I knew you'd come around. My name is Celine Jules. I'm a treasure hunting enthusiast. Now then, let me show you the map one more. See this? First, we'll set off for the Cross Cave, which lies east of Cross. Cross Cave? You mean that natural cave? Everyone knows that place. Indeed, it's the very one. I would have thought that anything worth excavating in there was long gone by now. Well, supposedly this map just recently came to light for the first time. Wow! Right. Let's make sure we have all the equipment we need before we depart. I could get used to having you two around. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm? Did you say something? No, I didn't. Let's get going. Here. I was just starting to get kind of bored of wandering around. Would you like to go and have some tea or something? That sounds nice. Let's go. Perfect. Let's go on inside then. Me, but is everything okay here? Heh. Do I look all right? This bastard says he doesn't have any money for me. But I told you, I didn't realize that you had to pay money at this place. You think I'm actually going to believe that, kid? Wait a minute. Look, we'll take care of the bill for him, all right? You sure about that? You really don't need to pay for him, you know. Actually, I do feel obligated. I'd probably have trouble sleeping tonight if I just left this alone. You better thank these ladies, boy. Are you all right? I'm really sorry about this. This probably isn't a good time to order some tea, is it? How about we go back outside, Reyna? Sounds good. Thanks for helping me out. Um... Celine, and this is Reyna. Thank you, Celine, and Reyna. You're welcome. What's your name, by the way? Uh... Clyde. Just call me Clyde. Clyde? Hopefully you've learned your lesson here, Clyde. Be careful next time, okay? But I'm telling you, I really didn't mean to do that. Well, whether you meant to or not, 
I'm not the sort of lady who's generous enough to save your hide a second time. All right, I won't do it again. You, Clyde? Wow, Celine! What a coincidence! Sorry, Clyde, but you can't really call it a coincidence if you're stalking me like that. <laughs> Tough lady. It's been quite a while. What are you doing here anyway? I figured I'd run into you if I waited around here long enough. I just had to see you one more time, you know? Man, am I glad I'm in time. In time? No, it's... it's... ah, never mind. Hmm. Well, all right then. So now that you've met me, what are you going to do next? I was thinking that I'd repay you for what you did for me back then. Okay. Let me go get Reyna. Can we make it just you? Would you come with me, Celine? I think I've just witnessed something really crazy here. Celine? Huh? Ah! What's wrong, Celine? You're acting strange. I... I don't know what to do. I've never experienced anything like this before. He just blurted it right out. Celine? I don't have any idea how I should respond to him.
What are you doing, Claude? Hey, Reyna. I was just, you know, looking. Oh? Yeah. Let me ask you something, Reyna. What do you think lies beyond the sky? Beyond the sky? It'd be nice if there were other worlds out there. Other worlds? I know it must sound weird, but sometimes I think there just have to be other worlds out there, beyond the sky. Hmm, that's a very interesting thought. What makes you think that? Well, I mean, if you cross the ocean, you run into all kinds of different lands, don't you? I just figured it wouldn't be unusual if it worked the same way for the sky, if there were other worlds to discover up there. Am I being weird? No, I think that's a wonderful way to put it. Really? Really? I bet there's some truth to that idea, too.
Guys again. Yeah. That's one that for us. Pretty weak. Again. Ha! Ha! That was that easier was than I thought. Win. Ten. Ten.
Bingo, here it is. This is it? What the heck is that? I think it's some kind of ancient text. I wonder what it... How sad. This is beyond my deciphering ability. I guess we have no choice but to take this back to my home and consult with the Elder. That or find a linguist. Otherwise, we've hit a dead end. Very true. You two have been a lot of help to me, so let me thank you both. Oh, not at all. Our little expedition didn't turn up anything on the sorcery globe, though. This is new. So it was the sorcery globe that you two have been fussing about. Well, yes. That's why we were thinking about traveling to the El Kingdom. I know! How about joining us, Selene? Reina? Reina? I mean, having you and your symbology on our side, I figured that could really help us out. Hmm. I could certainly give it some thought. Really? Certainly. But I wonder if this is really... Of course! We'd love to have you along. Well, in that case, I think I will take you up on the offer. Wonderful! Aren't you glad, Claude? Yeah, I get. Well, how about we return to our original plan then? We'll need to head to Kurik. <laughs> 